generated violations such as FGM and teenage pregnancies in our county. The outcry can no longer be ignored to curb these menace. The forum proposes that the national government and county government of Embu to continue giving leadership by coordinating the different actors working in addressing gender-based violence to synergize initiative to end triple threat for better results than being experienced as partners operate in silos. The Department of Health to prioritize finalization of the referral directory and sensitize various actors on it to ensure smooth process for survivors seeking essential services. Severe disciplinary action for the preparators and any local administrators convincing the perpetrators of gender-based violence to deny or delay justice of the survivors. The religious leaders to be proactive in raising awareness on these menace and support initiatives aimed at addressing the triple threat of new HIV infections, adolescents, pregnancies, and also gender-based violence. We are of the opinion that it is untimely at this particular moment in time. It is coming too soon after we have erected the current government. They have not even done their job. They have not even attended to issues that they said they would attend to in their manifestos. Our people are hurting and are hungry. We have many, many other many things which are going wrong. And uh, as you are, many people are aware, even the co our coffers are empty. So it is our urge that uh, our parliamentarians should not misplace their focus at this particular time, but rather they should address those issues which are affecting Kenyans. Term limits are in the constitution, and uh, I think if it were to come, it should come much later. As for now, it's totally out of the question. The issue of the church supporting or not supporting is not an issue now. By the way, those people have the right, have their right to say what they are saying. In fact, the constitution allows them to say what they are saying. Or what you are saying, it is untimely in bad faith evil for now and even uh, uh, in future it should not arise kenyans have suffered a lot for this democracy that we have enjoyed for the last 20 years so it's our prayer that this thing need not occur or arise it's too early to go that direction early in the sense that kenya uh, i think i think has chatted the waters and uh, for the last terms, we have seen it and we enjoy it. As Kenyans and even as church leaders, when there's a change of office. We also address the issue about uh, gender-based violence in this uh, particular county. And according to the that we, statistics that we are given by the Minister of Health, we noted and were very sad to note that even boys have a date laugh in this particular case of lips and even uh, misuse by the people of the county. And to a sudden to note that many of those cases that uh, are happening are being perpetrated by very close family relatives. These are actually shamelessly their fathers, shamelessly their mothers, shamelessly their cousins and brothers. And uh, what we are urging people to do is, should you suspect and should, should you realize that something like that is happening, shout it out, speak out, smoke it out. And when you do that, you can be sure uh, the necessary um, matters will be taken up by the necessary offices and officers. So that those uh, young children who have a date laugh, or even older people, can be attended to. We are also urging that should there be a rape case, whether of a young girl, young boy, or even a woman, for that matter, they should, they should not rush very quickly into cleaning themselves, but rather they should prepare to rush to the nearest health facility where they can be attended to, so that uh, even the prevention of HIV and those other 
uh, STDs can be done before they even go back to reporting. So the first, they should care about their health, their own health, and then later they can follow up with the necessary arms of government, mainly the police, and then finally to the judicial system.